Hi, my name is Pam Oltry, and I'm here at Prince George's Plaza Community Center with Prince George's County Parks and Recreation. Thank you for joining. Today, I will be your art instructor, and we're going to work on an art piece using acrylic paint and magic marker. That's right. It's going to be an abstract. So relax, grab your paints, and let's get started. Okay? So as you can see here, I've already gotten started a little bit, and let me show you how I started it. I have my water source, my paintbrush, and I'm just dipping it into the water, as you can see, just dipping it in, okay? And I also have my paint. So my colors that I'm using today is magenta, goes with my shirt, don't you think, and green, okay? And what you want to do, you want to use it, the paintbrush is wet and make a water kind of slurry paint, okay? So just dip it into the concentrate of the paint and just make it a slurry, okay? Then you want to come back with the paintbrush on the flat side, okay? On the flat side of the paintbrush. And you just want to put it in there. And be abstract about it. Have fun. Had a little drip there, but we'll take care of that. That's the beauty of paint. You can always correct it. Come back in. Okay, I'll just give it some color. Play with it a little bit more. And at any point in time that you want it to go a little bit darker, you still want to use the uh, water slur here with the paint, but then just dip it into the concentrate just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more darkness to the brush. Okay, you'll see in a minute. See? Watch this. See how it's a little bit darker now? Okay. And you can just have fun with it. You know, if you wanted to leave it like that, see how that white is in there? You can leave it like that if you want to. Okay, and I'm bringing it down. Next. I'm going to go a little bit further up here in this corner here, okay? Oops, not enough. And if you find that you're running out of your, your water slurred paint, just dip your brush in the paint again, okay? There we go. Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay. I love art. Art is so relaxing to me. And it allows me to really get creative sometimes. And I, I love doing abstracts. So... With abstracts, you have to learn to let go and that it's not going to be something perfect. It's something that um, sometimes just happens, you know, and that's what I like about abstracts. So we got the paint in there, all right? And today what we're going for, we're going to go for a flower, okay? So I'm rinsing off my paintbrush, putting in my water source, I'm rinsing it off, okay? And I have my paper towels here just to make sure that I get most of the paint out of the pink, okay? Right now, I don't want it in there. So I'm gonna dip it back in the water and I'm going into my green now, okay? I'm gonna get a green slurry going just like that, just like I did with the pink. And now I'm gonna start over here in this corner down at the bottom here. Okay, I'm starting in the opposite corner and I'm gonna build my way up. Okay, and again, just have fun with it. There's nothing exact to this. It's just have fun with it. Okay, and even some of the green, let it go up into the pink, and you'll see that it'll start to change colors a bit as you go up into there. And don't worry about it. You're going to love it. Okay. I'm dipping it back into the water to get more of the slur. Get that green. You want to bring that green up into the pink. Keep coming sideways. And again, just like with the pink, if you want to go a little bit heavier on the green in certain areas, you want to do a little bit of the concentrate of the green and with the water slur. You don't want it to dry out. That's the most important thing. Okay, and again, you're using the flat of your brush. 
Okay. So what I think I'm gonna do, because it's a little bit more difficult working at the bottom, I'm gonna flip it over. <laughs> All right. See, isn't that easy once I flipped it over? Okay. And guess what? You're allowed to do that because it's your painting. So you can do what you want to with it. Oh man, look at those colors forming. You see those colors coming together? Look at that. bit more water see whenever because it was almost like it was the, the brush was too dry so um, when it does this you really want to go for this technique anyway you want to not have the brush so dry you really want for the canvas to be a little bit wet damp so just dip your brush into the slurry the water again make your slurry and sometimes it's going to run but that's okay And I think I'm going to leave some of this white in here. You know, I'm going to bring that, that green into there. Now I'm going to go back into the pink. Again with the pink slurry. And this time I did not rinse my brush because I'm going back into the green. And I'm going to go a little bit higher with the pink. Just to kind of get it in there. See that? So you basically, it's almost like you're getting... Almost like a brown color in with that. Just blend that in using the flat portion of the brush again. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I am going to flip it over. Flip it back. Can you see this? Where it right where it uh, came down a little bit. Actually, I'm going to play with that a little bit. So now I'm going to go a little bit more concentrated, still a, a diluted water, but I'm going to go a little bit more concentrate. And so we're doing a flower. So let's see where we want to spin. Just use your imagination. Okay. I'm kind of going to spin it up. Went a little bit heavier. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And so now, because my canvas is already wet, I'm just really just dipping into the concentrate. You know, and I'm still, as you see, I'm still using the flat portion of my brush. And what I'm doing, I'm starting with the flat portion of the brush and then as I come up into where I want the leaf to be I'm raising it and using the tip of the brush br bristles <laughs> you see that I'll do it again so I'm starting with the flat coming up and bringing it up to the tip. Okay, and I'm going to clean the brush because now I want to add my petals. My petals are going to be pink. Okay, and just using this again the pink, and the brush is still wet. And I'm still using the slurry. So now let's see where do I want my petals to be? Let's just start. And again, the brush is a little too dry. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. So again, I dampen my brush. And I'm going into my slurry again. Okay. There we go. And it's the same technique that I did with the leaf that I'm doing with the petals. I'm starting out with a flat brush stroke. And then just taking it up. Oh 
And that one looks good because it's adding both of the colors in there while it's still wet. You see that? Look at that. Make sure I put it some right over here. I think I need one. Again, starting up. Need some more water. Yeah, something over here that's going to come down a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go back up. Make that pink a little bit darker up here. And then what we can do, we can add some green into the pink. And that's going to give it another color. Two squares, working with just two tones, you're going to get different varieties of color in your painting. Okay, so again, just have fun with it. Okay, so once you get to a state of where you're happy with it, all right, you're going to have to let it dry for a little while. Okay, and then we're going to switch over to using the marker. Okay, so I have one that I've already worked on and it's all dry, okay. Um, but I'm still going to add just a little bit more because I want to change some of the petals sometimes. And because it's my artwork, I can do it my way. All right. So just want to add a little bit more to it. Okay. And every and what I love about abstract, everyone's abstract looks different. Okay. So again, have fun with it. Play with it. Make it your own, okay? I'm not going to add too much of the dampness to it because now I want to go into using the magic marker and adding the details of the magic marker, okay? And with the magic markers, so we're all done with the paints now. So now we're going to get into using the magic markers and we have a fine tip magic marker. Can you see that? Okay. And I'm going to start with the fine tip, all right? And I'm just going to go into here and just add very gently, okay? Just little lines, and they do not have to be precise. Just want to very lightly do the lines that will show the separation and the detailing of the petal. And just get creative, okay? And then down here, towards the main portion of the flower, and this is a, a little heavier, what I call a regular tip magic marker. You can go just a little bit heavier. And then what you can do, because it is still a little bit, you see that? It's giving you some shading in there, okay? So you just want to kind of play with it, get your shading, have fun with it. Use your finger to smush it a little bit if you have to. Okay, get your darkness in there to show the definition. Have fun with it. So there you go, an abstract painting. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm with Prince George's Community Center with Prince George's County Parks and Recreation. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have fun. Enjoy your art and take your time. Uh, again, this is with uh, acrylic paint 
and magic marker and um, you have your detailing in there and you can continue to work on it and as you work on it you'll see more definition with the flower um, so just get creative and have fun with it okay say the part again about where, where you're with you know stop it again. okay um, and again my name is Pam Moultrie and I'm with Prince George's Plaza Community Center with Prince George's Plaza Again, my name is Pam Moultrie at Prince George's Plaza Community Center with Prince George's County Parks and Recreation. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time. Yeah, perfect.